Welcome to my channel. Today I'm in a client's garden in North London and I'm going to talk to you about herbs. I've got a herb bar behind me because my client is very fond of herbs and uses herbs a lot in cooking. Now herbs need sunshine. They like to be in a sunny spot, ideally south facing, which this bed is. So don't plant them in the shade. First of all, I'm going to talk to you about mint. Mint is really easy to grow. It will grow in practically any soil, but I don't think it likes to be too dry. And in my experience, it likes to be in quite a rich, fertile soil. It really thrives. It's a vigorous herb. It will spread. So if you want to contain it, because it will take over your bed, then sink it in a bottomless bucket or a pot without a bottom. Otherwise it will spread. But if you want it to spread, let it spread and it will go bonkers. It's a herbaceous perennial, which means it dies back in the winter. So it won't look good in the winter and then it will re-sprout every spring. Mint has pretty flowers, which are attractive to pollinators. So it's good for wildlife. There are different types of mint. I personally like classic mint. I like Moroccan mint. This is called garden mint. So it's, it's an ordinary mint. It makes lovely tea. So I really recommend that you grow mint and I think in a pot is best because you can contain it. So just have a pot which is dedicated to mint. This is flat leaf parsley. My client uses a lot of flat leaf parsley and prefers it to curly parsley. Parsley is a biennial, which means it produces leaves in the first year and seeds in the second year. I actually treat it as an annual because often it doesn't really survive harsh winters, but this winter was quite mild and you will see in the bed that it has actually survived it. So judge it yourself, but it, it gets a bit tatty and I just discard it and I treat it as an annual. Grow parsley in beds, borders or pots. If you don't have a garden, you can grow it on a windowsill and uh, you just need a sunny windowsill. This is coriander. It's an annual herb, so you need to replace it every year. The plants are very small at the moment because they like warmth. So it will grow bigger. It'll grow a lot bigger. It'll, go, it'll grow as big as the parsley. Remove the flower stems from coriander to prolong the leafy harvest. Otherwise, it will concentrate its energy on flowering and going to seed. And you want the leaf. It needs sunshine. As it's very aromatic, my client loves it because he uses it in Thai cooking and he does a lot of Thai cooking. Thyme can be grown in the ground or in pots. It makes a really good edging plant. If you've got the right kind of soil, so not a heavy soil, you can plant it in the front of the border and it has really pretty flowers. So you can let it flower and it's functional and pretty. It's pretty and productive. It's drought tolerant, so it's very easy to maintain and you can kind of forget about it. I like classic thyme. This is a uh, common thyme in front of me. It's called Thymus vulgaris and it's a cultivar called Postinii, which I actually use quite a lot and it's very pretty. It produces the flowers in the summer, which are very attractive to bees and other pollinators. They're rich in nectar. So thyme is really a fabulous plant. When you're growing thyme in a pot, mix in some horticultural grit because it really needs good drainage. It really doesn't like being cold and wet and it doesn't like heavy soil. It really needs to be in a free draining soil to thrive. Now I'm gonna face the herbs. Um, the first one is thyme. Thyme will get bigger than this, so I give it a bit of space. The next herb is parsley. So I'm going to place that next to the thyme. And then the mint. Now mint goes completely bonkers. So this bed will be, it will have a lot of mint in it. And I'm going to put it in my dedicated mint area. Now I'm going to place the coriander. And the coriander is going to get bigger. It's going to get about as big as the parsley. So it's tiny at the moment, but once it gets warm and sunny, it will grow. So I'm going to place that next to the parsley and the mint. 
Now I'm going to show you how to plant herbs. Now this bed is a bit low to climb, but I can't make it any higher because I'll smother the existing herbs. First of all, take it out of the pot, inspect the roots, squeeze. The best way of getting a plant out of the pot is to squeeze. This is a bit pot brown. You can see the roots, squeeze it. And I'm gonna to have to tug it because it's really quite pot brown. So you can just tease out the roots because it's all grown into each other. All the roots have got tangled up. So just get in there, don't be frightened. Give it a bit of a tickle, a bit of a wriggle, and then put it in. And don't plant time too deep. It doesn't like being cold and wet. It likes to be slightly proud. I think that's about right. And then just firm it in with your hands. Then I'll water it, but I'm gonna water all the herbs once I've planted them. And that's the time done. Now I'm gonna plant the parsley. This is flat leaf parsley, as I mentioned before. Again, just squeeze the bottom of the pot. That's the easiest way to get a plant out. This isn't pot bound. There were no roots coming out of the pot. You don't really need to tease that out much. So you can just plant it at the same level as the compost in the pot. So dig a decent hole. There's a worm in there, which is good. It shows the soil is fertile. That's a bit low. Now add a bit more. There you go. I'm putting it next to the other parsley. Just firm it in with your hands. Just have a nice time. And that's the parsley done and I'll water it later. Now I'm going to plant the coriander. So take it out of the pot, just be gentle because it's only a little plant. Don't really need to tease out the roots. It's quite floppy because coriander is a bit floppy. It'll be sturdier when it's grown a bit. A bit low. But I'm actually going to plant it a little bit low because I want to support the leaf so that it stands upright. Now the mint. So you can see it's quite pot bound. So actually I'm going to pull those because it's going to be difficult to get it out of the pot. Just pull those out. And then look at those roots. Wow, that's fantastic. That's a really healthy plant. And just because it's grown round itself, just ease those out. And those are all going to produce leaves. So, I mean, this is going to go bonkers in here. So just tickle it out. And we're now going to plant it. So firm it in. Mint is so easy to grow. Okay, and that is finished. Now I'm gonna water the herbs in. So, give them a good drink. Thyme doesn't need too much water, but give the other ones a good drink. That's the coriander, which is floppy, but don't worry, it will pick up. And this is the mint. Thank you for joining me. Please like me, please subscribe, and keep up to date with my latest content. I'll be posting on Sunday mornings and Wednesday mornings. Thank you very much.